Hey guys, so a quick build overview on this um, Hyperlate Flowrider frame. Obviously it's a 5 inch frame here. I built this pretty quick here. I um, didn't really do a frame review, but the, building the frame is really easy. It's just you have uh, these basically individual arms that are sandwiched between a bottom plate and this retaining plate on the bottom here. And then you got a top plate. The standoffs are 20 millimeters tall. Uh, if you guys don't already know what this frame is, this is the one that was designed by Kabob FPV. And you can get this at Pyroflip. I'll put a link in the description. I decided to build this uh, as quick as I possibly could, and I used uh, the HGLRC uh, F440 board, um, in the stack here. This is the uh, one that I reviewed uh, about a week ago. It's got the 4 in 1 40 amp B uh, this is BL 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 32 ESCs, and you got an F4 flight controller uh, and also a, uh, a video transmitter uh, up to 200 milliwatts that does um, tramp or the has the um, the uh, video, or the, sorry, the uh, feature to change your bands and channels in the Beta Flight OSD. So I, using this is actually really makes the build really simple. Basically, you just mount the uh, ESCs on a, on these screws it comes with, and then you just solder on all your motors. And um, once you do that, the rest of the build goes really quick. You just plug in your flight controller. You have to solder on some wires from the uh, video transmitter to the flight controller and the camera. And that's pretty much it. It's a pretty quick build. I got this done in a couple of hours. The motors I'm using here are the uh, T Motor uh, F42s. Let's see if the camera will focus. These are, I think, these are 2305, uh, 2600 kV motors. I'm not sure if these are still in production anymore. Um, but uh, yeah, this uh, very, very nice motors here. And I'm using a, a Fox Gear uh, Aero Micro for the uh, camera and then uh, just an XM plus receiver that's behind the camera there. So that's uh, that's pretty much the whole build. I did um, switch out the FPV antenna here. I did not use the linear antenna that the TX20 came with. It's, uh, you can kind of see it's attached to the top of the stack there. Full micro FL connector. And then I just have it secured with a little zip tie here with some heat shrink around the antenna to keep it up. And basically, so it'll stay out of the props. And that's pretty much it. Um, let's see, there's a capacitor somewhere here. That's, uh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> Forgot about it. It's right there in the back. And I just have a zip tie to the frame. And then the wires go underneath the flight stack and uh, are attached to the power leads on this side. The main power leads for the XD60 are over here on this side. And this gets, I'm using the same zip tie here to hold the power lead on as well as the antenna so to save the weight and speaking of the weight let's uh, get a weight measurement so total weight of this frame and uh, with all the parts and everything is 290 almost 293 grams so the uh, props I'm actually gonna be testing on here is going to be the gem fan uh, uh, 5042 props I haven't used these yet so I'm thinking this might be pretty good on a little higher KV motor let's see how that goes uh, I'm not going to be flying with a GoPro, although I think there is a GoPro mount available for this frame. Uh, it might be on Thingiverse, it might be something, it might have, it might be something you have to actually purchase separately, but uh, it, this is an acro frame and it's actually designed to have a, a little TPU printed GoPro mount in the front here, and then you put your battery in the back here. So since it's a little bit lighter than most of these acro frames, uh, you can probably get away with 1300, you probably don't need something too big, but that's probably what I'm going to be flying with is a 1300 uh, uh, forest battery. Anyway, you guys go ahead and I'll show you the flight footage now. I'll let me know if you have any questions and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.